Hello October Panic Attack YouTube community, this is Dante, and happy Halloween 2013. I hope you guys are having a magical, amazing time, and it is winding down very soon. So wear makeup and a costume every day when you don't have to go to work. And if you happen to work at a job, um, like the place I'm going to talk to you about right now, where you get to wear costume and a makeup, even better. Folks, I'd like to talk to you about a place that we haven't been to I personally haven't been to in probably about three years, four years. It is called Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow is in Newtown, Pennsylvania, and Sleepy Hollow boasts three attractions. Um, this is a place that I have a lot of memories with as a teenager. Um, I have a lot of memories even, you know, from college, from, from you know, my young adult years, everything else. Just had a lot of memories at this place. Um, lots of fun with friends, lots of fun with girlfriends, lots of fun. Just It was just an awesome, awesome, this has definitely always been a place of memories. And you'll see teenagers here, you'll see kids here with their families. Um, and this is definitely a, a place where you will get that Halloween bonfire type vibe. So know that right off the bat. Okay, if you're looking for the outdoor cold night Halloween bonfire vibe, Sleepy Hollow is the place for you. All that said, a couple of things you got to uh, take into consideration. This place gets massive lines, okay, massive lines. So what you want to make sure is, you want to make sure, and now you have to understand, this place is only open Friday, Saturday, and Sundays, okay? There are no weeknights, okay? What you want to make sure is, you want to make sure you go on a Sunday night. We went on a Sunday night, and they had a deal, an amazing deal. Um, the, the deal was sick. It was like $6 less than the normal ticket price. Um, typically, the combo ticket is $30. Bucks. Um, it was $24 on Sunday night, so that was awesome. So I don't know if they do that every Sunday night, but it's definitely something that you want to, um, you know, that you want to, Take into consideration, this place gets massive lines even on Sunday nights. So you want to make sure that if you get there on Sunday night that you get there as soon as they open, if not 15 minutes before. If you are brave enough to go here on a Friday or Saturday night, you got to make sure that you're coming here at least an hour before they open. Just get there and start forming your line, okay? Or get VIP, okay, for $15 more, okay? It matters how hardcore you are, but bottom line is this place gets massive lines, and you want to make sure um, <clears throat> that you get there early on Sunday, right on time on Sunday, or at least an hour early on Friday or Saturday, okay? Now, folks, let's get into this place, okay? Let's get into Sleepy Hollow. Um, we're going to start off with their hayride. Uh, the Sleepy Hollow hayride um, is, you know, this is the only hayride I've ever been on that has a cage around you. I mean, it really feels like you're in, it's such a unique feeling. Like all these different hay rides, it's all different like styles. Some you're like, a, there's tons of hay, some there's just a little bit of hay, some there's barrels of hay, you know, some your feet can hang off of. This place takes two wagons and you're just, there's these big cages, like, that, that don't close on the top, okay? But there's these big cages that go up on the sides of you, and it's really, really, like, intimidating. You might think, like, oh, I feel like I'm separate from the actors. No. You feel like you're in jail. You feel like something's not good, something's about to happen. It just feels weird, and when you're out in the woods, and you got a cage around you, it's pretty, like, I don't know, it just feels spooky and weird. Now, this place has really tall corn stalks when you're going through this hayride, and it's really tight. I think it's the tightest, like, corn, co tightest, like, corn stalk path on a hayride I've ever been on, okay? Now, I'm also going to say that this hayride, this hayride has the most creative use of fog that I've ever seen, okay? You're going to see some stuff with fog in this hayride. That's just awesome, the way you kind of drive through it. And it's just, it's just really, really cool what they do with fog. I'm a big fog fan, especially in the cemetery, and they billow it. There's all, this is also a, a hayride that is loud. There, there are some loud things in this hayride. This is also a hayride... I don't want to give away things, but it's a hayride that's loud, and there are moments of abrasiveness, okay? And I'm, I'm not going to give away things, folks, but I'm going to tell you 
that the cages around you, there's a reason for them, and they will in fact get used. That's right, folks. You heard it right. Those cages will be used. And I will tell you that I got seriously scared um, on this hayride, especially at one point when the whole hayride stopped. And it's pretty darn dark on this hayride. You're in dark cornfield type vibe. It's dark. If occasionally the tractor would turn his lights on, I guess, to see where he was going. These are sharp turns, sharp corners, really dark. Really spooky. There's a full moon out. There was a, a, a fig tree cell phone tower out there. I mean, it's just really creepy, really cool. Lots of scarecrows. Just, just a really, really, just a creepy, sleepy hollow vibe. And don't forget that there's a reason why this place is called Sleepy Hollow. Anyway, um, what am I doing? All right, what am I doing? Anyway, so, <laughs> and I also want to say that I've, I've never seen actors with the gymnastic skills that these people have at Sleepy Hollow Hayride. Okay, I'm going to give it up for these actors. I want to give it up for the theatrical nature of this hayride as well. I want to give it up for the pitch black in this hayride. I want to give it up for just some really, just some really, really spooky, creepy vibe with very big abrasive surprises that were really really cool and if you don't like clowns you'll have a problem here too and folks I want to let you know one more time these are the most gymnastic actors I've ever seen there were kids screaming there were adults laughing and screaming I was one of them Sleepy Hollow Hayride is long it feels really long it's dark okay and it is it's there are some cool surprises in terms of like uh, the showiness of it, but this is one of those hayrides that really revels in the darkness outside and in the corn stalks and in the creepiness and and in and in just like it's almost like this old fashioned awesome haunted hayride that you remember from when you were younger and for you teens and kids out there that you remember now <laughs> and there's a great intro to this hayride where this guy is just such a good act it's just the way he's delivering his lines are so funny and so great to get you started on the hayride. So Sleepy Hollow Hayride, you know, it's a, it's, I mean, they have a 230 acre farm and it's one and a quarter miles, this hayride. So it's a, it's a pretty darn long hayride and it just feels really good. And we all clapped at the end of it. It was really, really cool. And um, this is the order we did. We did the hayride into the haunted house, into the field of fright. Okay. So we're going to get, go to the next thing, the haunted house. Okay. Um, out of the places, um, out of these three attractions, you know, I would say they all get lines. Okay, you're going to have lines to get your tickets at the general place, and then you're going to have lines into each one of these attractions. Some of the longest lines are going to be at the haunted house. Okay, of course, hayrides always have long lines, but they have a double hayride. Okay, and they have a couple tractors. But um, I think, but the haunted house by far gets the biggest lines. Okay, definitely gets the biggest lines. So you might want to do. You know, you might want to maybe do the haunted house first and then the hayride. Completely up to you in, in terms of what time you get there. But just know, this place gets lines. And there's a good reason for it, too, folks. This haunted house. If you, if you notice on our YouTube page, we have done um, a, a, a set of commercials for this haunted house. It's called House in the Hollow. You can see them on our Facebook page. Um, you can also see them, all of them, on our YouTube page. And we did these commercials with a group of these actors in the actual haunted house and, and, and in their location. This particular haunted house is done by Midnight Productions. And i got to tell you something, folks. This place is Disney World worthy. This place is insane. This place is magical. This place is gothic. This place is creepy. This place is so stinking creative and unique, it's not even funny. Are you hearing me, folks? I don't, I don't want to give away the surprises in this place, but you're going to see some things in this place that you have never seen before. You're going to hear some things in this place that you've never heard before. And I hope you know your name well, folks. House in the Hollow is on a superior level for haunted house attractions. It is part of Sleepy Hollow, okay? If this was on its own, this would be a place to drive to a long distance, okay? But it's part of already other great attractions as part of Sleepy Hollow. What a, what a diamond here, folks. I had a friend tell me this was one of the best houses he's been. This place is so creative and so unique. 
Okay, that's what I'm emphasizing in the house in the hollow. This will remind you of the way haunted houses were down the shore on Wildwood Boardwalk, Brigantine Castle. It's so thick with atmosphere and thick with the creativity and uniqueness. There are mirror tricks. There are digital tricks. There are tricks with the sound. The actors are atmospheric. The hallways, the animatronics, the props, the rooms, the situations, the storyline. This place is so unique. You travel into a haunted house, old school haunted house world. And the best line control I've ever seen, man. They hold you in various points to make sure you don't run into anyone else. It's so awesome. The doors are electronic. The sounds are electronic. The fences are electronic. The actors are constantly in character. The woman who takes your tickets. The things they do with the tickets. The thing that happens at the end. Oh, you might get split up. Oh, I might have broken my cell phone because I was running so fast at the end of this about seven years ago. Folks, Midnight Productions, Haunted House in the Hollow. You want something gothic, creepy, old school, creative, unique? Then go in with just a small group, no more than four at a time. And really, really get this awesome, awesome place. And right when you think you're done with the inside, then you head on out to the outside. And there's the best walking, misty, you feel like you're in a darn movie, folks. Midnight Productions, Haunted House in the Hollow. You guys, did I say enough? You guys are awesome. This place is awesome. It was formed off of The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. It's an old film um, by, with Don Knotts in it. Oh, man. The details in this place are... You're, you're going to miss... You're probably going to miss them. Walk slow. Go through these rooms slowly. Look at the details in this place. It's sick. It's an old house, man. This place is awesome. It's so awesome. The work that they've done in here is amazing. The tricks, the magic tricks they do in here. Haunted House in the Hollow. I just love these guys, okay? I just love it. Let's get to the third attraction now, folks. The Field of Fright. The Field of Fright. I was last here at the Field of Fright three years ago. They have improved this field tenfold, hundredfold. This is not what it used to be, folks. It's a million times. It, it, they've improved this. It's just so great. It's, it's so stinking long. It's ridiculous, okay? The Field of Fright is not a maze. Okay, but it's one of those things where you, you, it's a corn walk type of deal. But let's, I don't want to give away stuff, folks, but the beginning of this is so disorienting, and it's not in corn. You think you're just going to start off in the, in the corn? You don't. This thing starts off so disorienting and so chaotic that a group in front of us of, like, teenagers, they left because they were, like, bugging out, but it, it's just, like, it's it's just the way that they do it is just like abrasive and really violent in in like the way that they're doing it and it's like chaotic and crazy and the metal music and it's just nuts and then before you know it you're in the field and you're like what the heck just happened you know so and then you're in the field and the field is is long and it's creepy and it's the tallest corn stalks ever. And there's a lot of homes that you walk into which are really successful. There are a ton of actors out in this field of fright, folks, and they're awesome. Um, one of the girls that was with our group said, oh, these actors are so great. We didn't even know this girl, by the way. She just came with us because she was by herself. She was awesome. If you watch this video, um, Natasha, you were cool. It was fun hanging out with you. There are just so many things, really cool props in the field but really, really dangerous actors, okay? And the actors are coming from everywhere. And oh, they're just, the homes are cool. Watch out, folks. There's a, oh, man, snakes. Snakes. Snakes at, sne at Sleepy Hollow. That's all I'm going to say. Snakes at Sleepy Hollow. Possibly at the Haunted House. Possibly in the Field of Fright. If you got a fear of snakes, if you got a fear of wolves, if you got a fear of dogs, oh, the Field of Fright, folks. The Field of Fright... It's so long. It's so worth it. Um, and there's like a section that's just straight down and narrow and long and dark and scary scarecrow walk. And these actors are coming from everywhere on the ground, in the field, everywhere. 
the field of fright. Did I say it was dark? The moonlight was all that was lighting our path, folks. It's all that was lighting the path. And we ended the night with the field of fright. And it was awesome, man. It was just really long. One of the darkest um, corn walks. And it's the tallest corn I've seen in a while. And it was... You just didn't know where the actors were coming from. And, there, and Sleepy Hollow does really, really great things with the end of their attractions. And, that, and that's the same thing with the Field of Fright folks. Each one of their attractions has a spectacular climax, a great ending, you know. And there's a great ending to um, the Field of Fright. Big surprises. When you walk into the houses, you're not just walking into houses just to see stuff, you know, in the Field of Fright. You're walking into things that are situations that are going to startle you and take you by surprise. Um, great atmosphere, dark, oh, it's dark and mystical and corny, <laughs> corny, corn stalky, you know what I mean. Anyway, whatever. All right. Um, when you get the combo ticket, I believe the bonfires are included in there. So you can have bonfires. There's live music, I think, on Friday and Saturday nights on a stage. It's just an awesome Halloween bonfire um, environment. Uh, they added some more tables from the last time we were there for the uh, food area. There's a, uh, a little food area at the um, House in the Hollow, but then there's a bigger food area um, next to the Field of Fright and the Hayride. And it's a fun time. People can hang out. Uh, people can eat. Uh, people can watch the band gather around the bonfire. There was one bonfire this on this particular night, on Sunday night, and everybody was gathered around it. Um, what can I say, folks? The parkings, uh, you have to be prepared for the parking. Uh, there's a $2 parking fee, which goes to farmers. And um, the parking, just watch the guys with the, with the light poles. It can be a little confusing. And please watch the potholes on the main when you first turn into Sleepy Hollow, when you're coming in or when you're leaving, there are some rather large potholes. You don't don't damage your car, okay, or your van or truck or whatever you're driving. Um, drive very slowly on the main when you first turn into Sleepy Hollow or when you take that route to to leave it, okay. You'll see what I mean. Um, Sleepy Hollow, I love you. Thank you so much um, for the experience you gave us tonight, and. Um, it was magical. It was a Halloween bonfire magic type of night with three great attractions. If you like what you heard here, folks, everybody's exp you know everybody is different on what scares them and what excites them. Okay, um, we're all different people. Okay, this is my experience. This is me. Um, if you like what you heard here, folks, then go check it out. Okay, and uh, check out the commercials we did for the House in the Hollow. Um, they're on the YouTube page, and they're on, some of them are on our Facebook page. Just search for House in the Hollow, October Panic Attack, in YouTube, and you'll find them. Folks, happy Halloween. Is this awesome or what? It's awesome. Happy Halloween. And thank you to all you people who see me at the haunts and say hi. I'd love to get your names and hang out and, you know, say hi at the haunts and everything. And, and thanks for everybody that's watching, because really what this is all about is a community of Halloween lovers and Halloween magic. It's not about... It's not about anything else. It's not about critics. It's not about anything else like that. It's not about uh, oh, being cool or being better than haunts or anything. No, no, no. It's not about all this, man. I know we, you know, what I want to do is I want to tell you about these haunts and I want to tell you my experience um, and I want to spread Halloween love. So, folks, happy Halloween and uh, let's get crazy.